Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will study noise spectrum. So, as we have already studied, that the only way to characterize the noise and incorporate it in our circuit analysis is by using average power. Now we will see what is this power spectral density, PSD. This spectrum shows how much power the signal carries at each frequency. Okay, or we can say P is PSD is denoted as SFF of a noise waveform XT and is defined as the average power carried by XT in a one hertz bandwidth around F. It is usually expressed in volt square per hertz. So what we are doing, we can apply XT to our bandpass filter with a center frequency F1 and 1 hertz bandwidth and then square the output and we calculate the average over a long time to obtain SX F1. And repeating this particular procedure for different center frequency, we arrive at the shape of SX F1. Okay. And it is also common to take the square root of XSF expressing the result in volt upon under root hertz. So what is this all about spectrum? We can say that the spectrum shows the power carried in a small bandwidth at each frequency, revealing how fast the waveform is expected to vary in the time domain. Okay, so simply power spectral density shows us the power carried in a small bandwidth at each frequency. Okay, or we can say that it basically shows us the how fast the waveform is expected to vary in the time domain. Okay, wide spectrum, any noise spectrum that is flat in the band of interest is known as white noise. Okay. Now we have another theorem which says if a signal SXF is applied to a linear time invariant system with a transfer function HF, then the output spectrum is given as SYF is equal to SXF HF whole square. Okay, we can do one thing more as we take an example how spectral shaping is done by a telephone bandwidth. You can see over here since in a regular telephone it have a bandwidth of 4 kilohertz and we know that the voice can be from 0 to 20 kilohertz. Okay, so what it does, the telephone suppresses the higher frequency component of the caller's voice. Note that owing to its limited bandwidth, X out exhibit slower changes as compared to X and T. This bandwidth limitation sometimes make it difficult to recognize the caller's voice. Okay. Now, spectrum power. Since SXF is the even function of F for real XT, okay, as you can see over here, and it, uh, the total power carried by XT in the frequency range F1, FT is equal to E F1, F2 can be uh, minus F2 from minus F1, SXF, DF plus integral of F1 to F2, SXF, DF can be written as twice of integration from F1 to F2, SXF df. Okay, in fact, the integral in this quantity, the integral in this equation is the quantity measured by a power meter sensing the output of a bandpass filter between F1 to F2. That is the negative part. This negative part, this particular negative part is folded around the vertical axis and added to the positive frequency part and we call this representation the two-sided spectrum and this spectrum as one-sided spectrum. So the two-sided white spectrum has can have can have one-sided counterpart as shown over here in this folded white spectrum. Okay so again I summarize here the spectrum shows us the power carried in a small bandwidth at each frequency. 
which reveals how fast the waveform is expected to vary in a time domain. So this is all about the noise spectrum and noise CFE. In the next lecture, we will study about amplitude distribution. Thank you.